This video will show you how to make edits to your website using the new version of Easy Freight Websites. To get started, go to yourwebsite.com slash login, and this will take you to the login page. Here, enter the username and password that you got when you created your website. If you've forgotten your password, just go down here where it says lost your password, click on it, and here you can type in your email address and click on the get new password. This will send an email to you where you can reset your password to be whatever you want. Let's go ahead and log in. When you're first logged in, you'll be taken to what's called the dashboard page. Here on the dashboard, you'll notice there's some information about your site here on the right, but on the left is the menu, and that's primarily what we're concerned with. So let's take a look. The, most of these you probably won't use, but the ones that are most useful to you are gonna be company info, pages, log, load board, and forms. And also, if you wanna change the menu, that's under appearance, menus. So let's take a look at what each one of these does. Company info is just gonna be information about your company, such as the name, the address, the phone number, and this information is automatically populated throughout your website. It'll show up places like here in the, the footer and such like that, and throughout your website will automatically populate that. Now let's take a look at the next one, pages. So pages, this just shows all the various pages of your website. So anyone you wanna make a change to, just hover over it, and you see a little menu appears below it. Instead of clicking edit, the easiest thing to do is click edit with Elementor, and that brings it into a visual page builder that'll make it much easier for you to edit. We'll get to that in a minute. Next, let's take a look at adding a page. You would just click on add new. You would type the name of the page right there. And then uh, right here, I would leave this blank because we're gonna use Elementor to edit that in just a minute. And just click, and of course here is the URL if that's what you want it to be, you could change it just click publish and then once you've done publishing it you can click edit with Elementor to make changes to the page we're going to cover that at the end of the video the next thing is blog this is in case you decide you want to do news articles or blogs on your site very similar to what we just saw you'll see a list here of current blog posts you have if you want to add another one just click on add new and just like we just did you would first put in the name of the blog post and type your information here for this, we recommend not bothering with Elementor, but just type whatever blog post you want in there. And of course, on the side, there's a bunch of options. Most of these I would just leave as the default and hit publish. Now let's take a look over at the load board. We'll just leave this really quick. It's very similar to the blog and the pages. So we put some test loads in here so you can see what's going on. But essentially, you'd come in here, you'd hit add a new load, and you'd say, give it all the vital information that goes with that load. And then you'd hit published or publish. And where this will show up is if we go here and we take a look at um, under services, you can go to your website.com slash load board and you'll see a list of available loads. And since you're logged in right now as the admin, you'll see there's this black bar at the top that's called the WordPress admin bar. Uh, you're able to post loads and post trucks, but regular people who come to see the site aren't logged in, so they can't post loads or trucks. They can just search. Uh, let's take a look at the next thing on the list here, which would be, what about the menu? If we go to appearance menus right there, we can control what shows up on the menu. And just in case you're wondering, the menu is this thing at the top that lets you navigate throughout the website. So as we edit the menu, we'll see right here, these are the various items that are in the current menu, and the ones that are indented means it's a drop down. So for example, when I go to about, there's some drop downs right there. And uh, if we wanted to rearrange one, we could grab it and drag it around to where we want it to be. If you don't want it to be a drop down, you could move it out and maybe kind of nudge it over to be wherever you want to go. And of course, once you're done, just hit save menu. And if there's any new pages you want to add in here, just go over here to the left. You could find uh, most recent pages, or maybe there's a view all. You could just click on it and say add to menu. And you'll notice it shows up right here at the bottom. You just drag it wherever you want to go. If there's a menu you want to get rid of, just click the little arrow to expand and click remove and that'll delete it. Just make sure to click save changes when you're all done. Now the last thing we're going to go over is how to edit the pages themselves. The easiest way to edit the page is there's two options. You could go to pages and find the page you want, just like we're about to do here. Then hover over it and instead of clicking edit, click edit with Elementor. Or there's an even easier way. If you click here on the name of your website, it'll take you to the home page. And you can just go to whatever page you want to change, like let's say company info page, for example. And at the top, you see the black admin bar. That means that you're logged in as the admin and regular users to your site can't see this. Don't click on edit page. Instead, click edit with Elementor 
and it'll open it in a visual page editor that's gonna make it very easy to make changes. So here we can see on the left-hand side is a menu and on the right-hand side we see the website. So we can, to make changes using Elementor, we just hover over whatever we wanna change, just click on it. And you'll notice on the left-hand side, it shows up there what we're changing. If you need a little more room, you can, you can grab it right there and just drag it to make it bigger if you want. You can grab the little corner and make that bigger and just start typing away. It's a lot like making an email or, or using Microsoft Word or something. If you wanna make something bold, just highlight it. You got all these options at the top. There's bold, italics, uh, all these bullet points and such. You can change text color, you can change fonts and all kinds of things. So uh, another thing you can do if you wanna add a link, just go ahead, like for example, like I say, click here. Just highlight whatever text you wanna be a link and then up here, this little thing looks like a chain then you would type in where you want the link to go to. And you could also just cut and paste the link in there if you want. And when you're done, hit apply to, to, keep, to keep the link and set it. Uh, let's take a look over here. If we wanna add an image or something to the site, that's pretty easy too. Just go to these little dots and it'll show you all the options you have. There's images and videos and buttons and all kinds of cool things. We could just grab an image, just drag it where you want it to go. And then right here, we could just click on it to set whatever, whatever image we want. Now, if you have an image on your desktop, you just drag it and drop it right here and it'll upload. Or we could just pick one of these images and just go ahead and say, insert media, and they'll put it on the page. If you wanna make it a little smaller, just go to style. And here, there's the width. You can kind of go like that and play with it. If you want it to be uh, right aligned or left aligned, there's options for all that stuff or centered, it's very easy. So in general, most of the style settings are here in the middle. That's to do with like size and colors and things. Same thing for fonts. If we want to change the font, we just click on, for example, the heading and go to style. And here we have colors, text color. We can make it whatever we want it to be. And it shows us right as we're doing it, what's going on. If you want to change the fonts, click on typography. And there's a bunch of great fonts in here. All, all the Google fonts are automatically loaded. We can adjust the size and stuff like that. If you make a mistake on the page and want to undo it, go down to the bottom and it says little circle thing, it says history, click on that. So actions, these are all the things you've done since you started editing the page. So we can just click on these to go backwards in time and undo it. But here are revisions, this is every time you save the page, it keeps a copy. So it says the last time you saved the page, and you can click on any of these to reload the page how it was last time you saved and undo your changes. Just kind of click back through history essentially to reload these and you can see it just changes it. Whenever you're done, be sure to hit update to save your changes. This is the main thing you need to know about editing your website. This video should hopefully cover all your questions. If you do have questions though, please contact us at support. Thanks for trying Easy Freight websites.